Hey guys and welcome to Lounge TV. I'm Larry and today I just wanted to vlog about this hurricane that's coming by us. Uh, Debbie is her name and wind is her game. So today, it, right now, it's west of us. Uh, it's in Pennsylvania mostly. They're getting a lot of heavy rain but we're on the east side of it so we're getting a lot of winds so you'll hear that throughout this. Sorry I can't do nothing about that. Um, and as you can see the, the trees are moving. You can see the trees moving out here. Getting some big, some big gusts. Uh, yeah, it's, the lens is a little bit, looks like it's a little foggy. Let me uh, wipe that off. It's a little humid outside, so. Um, yeah, so we've gotten some rain out of this. Not as much rain as I thought that we were gonna get out of this. It's pretty warm and muggy out right now. Not bad. Uh, but it, yeah, it's really, really windy out i think it's like 35 mile an hour 40 mile an hour gusts that we're getting here uh you can see the trees moving in the background but uh yeah i was talking to my friend sonia who who is in virginia and they were in a tornado watch yesterday and uh everything's good she said a lot of branches went down and stuff like that but she's okay and uh which i'm glad to hear sonia but uh for us we're in a tornado watch until 2 p.m. I think it is something like that today or maybe later on this afternoon um, Yeah, as you can see the the pool has quite a few leaves in it and it also uh, is very full Which I don't mind it being full it can only go up so high and it'll start coming out the uh, top of the skimmer But uh, yeah, it, it, the chickens crack me up because they don't like wind, but they're pretty brave right now They're just standing there. That's because they think I'm coming out to feed them but uh, yeah, there's some, there's a, one of those gusts, as you can see. Yeah, not too bad. Look at all the leaves on the basketball court, and branches and stuff coming down now. I always say that the, the wind is nature's way of kind of like uh, pruning the trees and grooming them to get to all the dead branches and stuff. That's the worst thing. We'll probably wind up I'll knock on wood, maybe, maybe we won't, but uh, lose electric today. We always lose it around here. Dead, because there's always dead trees everywhere. So, man, and, and Jeff left his tractor back there. That's not good. Because, uh, you know, if there's any dead branches around there, and fall on it. Yeah, my hose thing fell over. You see that? It didn't blow over either. It just, I think from all the rain that we got yesterday, it just kind of just fell over. So yeah, we got gonna have a lot of leaves to clean up and I should actually push these chairs in because what happens is the wind starts blowing them over. I just stepped in a hole and almost fell down just then, guys. All right, let me push these. If I push them all the way in uh, like that, they, they can't blow over because they'll hit the, hit the table. I should have had that already done. Yeah, you can hear that wind howling now. It's gonna get worse, the wind. They said it might go up to like 60 mile an hour gusts. I don't like that because that usually 60 miles an hour is where you get a lot of a lot of the big limbs that come down and stuff like that, and you get a lot of damage. And that's usually when the power goes out. Um, this is the, really the only thing I think I have to do for to get ready for this thing. The rafts might blow off the deck. I can go hunt them down. That won't be that big a deal. I just want to push the chairs in because I don't want them to damage the table or scratch the chairs and then the next thing you know you have uh, rusty chairs. And I'm just pushing these in. Why I'm talking at the same time? I could do two things at the same time. How about that? There we go. And you always got to have a plan that if uh, it looks like we're probably going to get some more rain coming up but uh, you always have to have a plan if there is a tornado coming where are you going to go in your house? You're supposed to go to an interior room or your basement. Our basement's only like five, not even quite five feet, it's four foot something. So we don't go down there. <coughs> um, we'll probably just wind up going into the middle room where there's a closet in there, walk-in closet, if we can get in there. My wife has so many clothes, that'd be hard to do. But uh, we can go in there. Well, the clothes would cushion us if any, uh, anything comes uh, crashing down I guess but uh, yeah they say that that's the best place to go in the middle of in the middle of your house 
But uh, yeah, I just wanted to come out front. Look, crepe myrtles blowing around. We got the, the front lawn doesn't look too bad. It's got a little bit of leaves down in here, but and see, I got a couple dead trees up there. Um, I'm not real worried about that because they're not going to fall towards the road. They'll just fall in my yard. That's okay. I don't care about that. But I know the neighbor down here, he has like a big giant tree that's dead. <clears throat> and he's right over there, you know, right, right kind of like, like that way. Um, and uh, of course he didn't take it down because it's, it's next to the electric lines. So the electric company should have took this thing down a long time ago. But this, that's how they're, they're, I guess around here there's so many dead trees. Oh, check out the, the clouds moving. That's pretty cool. Sun poking out as leaves are flying out of the sky. NTM, NTM. There's no place like home. Um, but anyway, yeah, you would think the electric company would take care of that because then they would avoid having to come out and restore the power and everything. <coughs> it's been dead for quite some time. <coughs> it's a big tree too. It comes down, it's definitely taking out our power. <coughs> Man, I'm sorry. Um, sorry about that if I offend you, me spitting on camera, but uh, I had to. I had a little phlegm, a little stuff come up, you know? Yeah, uh, so I think I'm pretty safe out here as far as like, uh, I don't think anything is in danger of blowing around. I think everything, other than the rafts, I think I'm good. And uh, I mean, I just want to point out something to the to the people that were talking about like my fence and how it's going to blow down in the wind. Hmm. How about that? Standing pretty still right now. You know that a lot of people said, ah, big windstorm, it'll come down. Well, we'll see. Because if it goes up to 60 miles an hour, we'll see. But re in reality, it's not going to. Um, there's not really, if it was a solid fence, more wind can catch it. The, you know, these slats have, you know, there's space in between them. So wind will go through it. <clears throat> Not to mention, the only thing that really is going to take that down is a dead branch. And then I'd have to just fix it, um, which you can. It's weird how the sun keeps poking out. But like I said, we're on the east side of the storm, which is supposed to be the bad side of the storm, because that's what gets most of the wind. And that's what gets a lot of the, uh, the tornadoes and stuff, uh, the thunderstorms and everything. So I looked at the radar. It looks like we're good for a while, maybe a few hours. Um, and then it's, you know, we're gonna get some heavy rains and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know, that maybe that's when, maybe the tornado, tor tornadoes would, might come through. Hopefully we don't get any. Uh, I heard one hit down in Virginia somewhere. Nor no, not in Norfolk, because that's where Sonia's from. It's from another, another county there, I think, one, one touchdown. And that's the biggest fear about this. Like, uh, we get 60 mile an hour winds here sometimes from just thunderstorms. It's just tornadoes that you have to worry about. Um, and some people got a lot of rain out of this thing. We did not. We got, if I had to guess, maybe a half inch so far. I'm going to have to come out probably later on because if you could see all the, uh, the leaves in the pool right now floating around. I'm going to have to get them out because as soon as that filter kicks on, you know what's going to happen. It's gonna clog up the filter, so. Yeah, I ain't going in the water today, even though it probably is warm. Oh, there's a couple morning doves over there. You guys ever see morning doves? I'm sure you have. They're right there on the basketball court. I don't know if you can see them with the, uh, I'll try to zoom in. Let's see if I can zoom in on this thing. Nope, that's not it. There we go. They're walking right around. Let's see. Where are they at? There they are, right there. There's one. There's the other one over there. You know, a lot of people are going to probably say, "Oh, they're just pigeons." No, they're not pigeons. They're uh, they're actually in the pigeon family, though. They're in the pigeon family. But morning doves, you usually see them always in pair. <clears throat> they're called morning doves, not M O R M O. It's their M O U. RN because if one of them dies because I think they mate for life 
So if one of them dies, the other one uh, mourns them. You know, I guess it just is sad. I don't know how they know that, but pretty sure I have my facts straight. I could be wrong. If not, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comment section. Earlier today, on our electric line over there, we had a bluebird. You don't see them too often around here, but uh, I guess it was the bluebird of happiness. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Look at that gun. Look at that. Yeah, you can hear that now. Yeah, that's, now that's a big gust there. That is definitely over 30 miles an hour. That, you know, that's probably up in the 40s there. Yeah, they're the ones that you got to worry about with bringing branches down and stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is what we're dealing with. I'll give an update in a little while uh, if it gets worse or if it's over with. And then I'll end the video on that. Hopefully everything, knock on wood, um, everything goes well and I hope everybody else stays safe during this. This is, uh, let's see, August? This is just the start, I think, right? It's, I guess it started in June, hurricane season. Yeah, I hope we're not in for a wild ride. I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, guys, it's almost noontime now. I don't even know what time I came out earlier, but... Uh, it's a little windy, too, so apologies if it's uh, messing with the microphone at all. Well, I already did that, Tom, Well, when I was out here. I already said that it's going to be windy out here. But it's not as windy now as it was earlier when I came out. It was really windy when I came out, so this is nothing compared to that. But guys, you can see a lot more leaves came down. I, mean, I got a mess to clean up now. Yeah, really? Uh, I already scooped some of the, well, not some of most of the ones out of the pool and threw them on the sides over here on the ground. But uh, this is the worst of it for us right now. We still have, um, starting soon, I think, chance of thunderstorms, which is the problem with the tornadoes. So we have to get through that. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I don't know if there's going to be any heavy winds, except for these these little gusts that we get that aren't that bad right now, but they could get worse than a thunderstorm. So uh, if something happens, like you know anything that we need to turn the camera back on, we'll turn the camera back on. But if not, then we will um, just end this vlog here. Yeah, but this is so. This is mostly the damage for us is the, the just the leaves coming down, which is no big deal. Uh, I hope everybody else, you know, made out okay in this. I know, like I said, they were getting a lot of rain in western Pennsylvania. I know they got a lot of rain in Virginia, you know, North Carolina, South Carolina, and of course Florida. Um, oh, butterfly. I don't know how butterfly flies in this stuff. Maybe they don't. Maybe they just get blown from here to there. You know. But anyway, guys, Likely. I hope you all stayed safe in this. If anything exciting happens at all, other than this mess that I have, we'll turn the camera back on. But and you so, guys will know. Till then, grab yourself something cold to drink, put your feet up, and relax. I'll meet you at the lounge.